Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a what's in my diaper bag video. I have my daughter in her crib right next to me so I'm going to try to get through this video as quick as I can before she starts screaming for me to pick her up. So the diaper bag that I use is the Skip Hop Chelsea bag I believe. I will have it linked down below and the exact bag that it is but the reason that I chose this diaper bag is because it is black um, and I think it's pretty chic. I think it's like a nice diaper bag that you can carry and it'll go with all of your outfits. Some diaper bags are kind of like funky and they have these crazy like prints on them and I just am not a fan of that. I wanted something I could wear every day and feel comfortable wearing and not think that it's like an eyesore or something like that. And it has a ton of compartments. Um, it also came with a changing pad here in the back. And I'm just going to go ahead and show you what's inside. You can wear it like crossbody. You can adjust this strap, um, wear it over the shoulder or carry it as a handbag. I do not have my personal things in here. I might have a few things, but I carry a crossbody just to kind of keep our things separate. And for the days that she sleeps at my parents' house, I send this whole bag. So I try to keep my own bag, but who knows, we may find a few things in here that are mine. So I'm going to show you the inside. I haven't like organized or cleaned out her bag for a few days. So there is just like a mumbo jumbo of things in here and this is what it looks like it has four different side pockets and then like a larger um, section in the middle and there's also this like side pocket which can like flip over kind of like it's like a flap like that and a compartment for your phone and then like I said the back here with the changing pad so I'm just gonna get right into it because as you can hear her she's like rattling her toys around and I don't have much time the first thing that I keep in here is grape water I heard about this from um, Tara Henderson she posted a video and she showed this and I never heard of it so I googled it and found out that it was good for like gas and colic and hiccups and all those things and my daughter always has hiccups so I picked this up. The next thing that I have here is Oragel and she is in that teething phase so we have to keep this on standby because we never know when she's gonna like break out into a huge fuss and just be um very irritated because of her teeth so I try to keep this with me so I can put this on her gums when needed. The next thing we have are wipes. We just Hi baby. We just use the Pamper Sensitive Wipes and um, I buy them in like a big box. I thought I still had it. I threw it out. A box that comes with like five or six of them and I like these because I can throw them right in her diaper bag so I buy this type of packaging. And we also have a little baby can of her formula. We use the Gentilies. Um, we weren't really having issues with the original formula, but we thought she had a milk protein allergy. So we went through this whole thing of switching her milks, and now we're back on this because I just could not stand the smell of the Nutramagen and we found out that it really wasn't necessary for her so we just switched her back to the Gentilies. And I like the smaller cans, um, they're really convenient for her um, the diaper bag. When I have like the big tub it kind of takes up a lot of space. And then we also have her little thermometer. You can on her forehead but you can also use it in her ear. So. I find this very useful to keep with me just in case we're out and like I think she has a fever, she feels warm. She hasn't had a fever yet, knock on wood, but um, just in case I like to have this with me. So one of the Orgels. I try to keep the boxes to keep them like together, but you know. And then we have some Mylocon here. Um, these are just like gas relief. I haven't been using these a lot in the first few months of her life, like the first two or three months we were using them, but I do like to keep them on standby. 
and then we have random pacifiers. She does not take a pacifier and my mom really wants her to, so every time I send her to my mom's house, she comes back with a bunch of different pacifiers because my mom's like, you have to keep trying and eventually she will get one. And then we also have a little nail clipper. Then we keep some um, hand sanitizer in there. So just in case like, I have to change her diaper or I really feel the need to like sanitize my hands and we're out and I can't get to like an actual sink, I keep that for myself. And a little um, Johnson's body wash. I don't actually use this on her body because she's so sensitive, but um, I keep this like to wash her hands sometimes when we're out if I feel like she really needs to wash her hands because I don't like to use like our hand soap on her or like adult hand soap. And then we also have um, Desitin just in case she looks a little red. Um, she's She hasn't had any diaper rashes but like I said she's really really sensitive so there's some times where I feel like she's looking a little red and I need to put a little bit of Desitin on her. And then we just have a ton of clothes, backups for when we're out and about, a pair of socks. It keeps like not recording. So yeah, I just have a ton of outfits in here. I have something to wear if it's like late and we're out to eat or something and I want to change her into like a sleeping clothes because if she falls asleep, she's probably out for the night. And then I just have extra onesies. Um, you can never have enough of those and sometimes she has a blowout when we're at the store and then she has another blowout. So I like to have a few different options. And these little shorts here, they go with this um, polka dot tank top and then they also have a second shirt option, which she hasn't worn this yet, like it's brand new. And I thought it was so cute with the blue stripes. And then just like extra bibs, a little romper another little onesie. So that's all that's in the main compartment. And then in this front compartment here, there's actually nothing. I don't know if you guys can see, it's kind of hard. But there's nothing in there. I normally keep my iPad in there, like if we're gonna go to the store and like sit with my husband while he works. Um, I like to keep my iPad because I can like watch YouTube or Netflix or whatever. And then I just have some receipts here in the side pocket from Burlington when I went to get her some hangers. I got like really cute um, pink velvety hangers. And then Sam's Club. I got her a few Carter's outfits and I got a new phone case. So these are just two recent receipts. And then I always keep a water bottle because I use this obviously to make her bottles. Um, I don't use the big jugs, I just feel like that's not practical. So I keep water bottles to make her formula. And then we just have her changing pad and it's just a skip hop changing pad. And that is all that we have in her diaper bag. So yeah, I hope that you want to be in. What? You want to say hi? So that is all that we have in her diaper bag. I hope you guys enjoyed these video these videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you found it useful if you're like a new mom and you wanna figure out what all to put in your diaper bag. But really, it's all trial and error because I watched so many videos and I have changed so many things from her nursery to actually being more functional to like a lot of products that I bought. Um, and I'm also thinking of doing like a products I regret buying video. So let me know if you guys are interested. Please don't forget to hit like if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe and we will see you in the next video.